we are back with another episode of Pimpin' versus Simpin'. Mm, rub your nipples. We are back with another scandalous court case for y'all. This time, a woman is suing a man over a date gone awry. The story goes like this. Man and woman, planned date. Woman shows up to said date location at said date time. Man does not show. One could say the man stood the woman up on her date. That's what she's saying. This woman was not having it. No, 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 no. She was going to get recompense and sue that man for $10,000. Say what? 10 k 10000 Because he stood her up on, what was it, her mother's death anniversary? Yes. The, on the anniversary of her mother's death, he didn't show up for the date. So she went to the court system and put in a lawsuit for ten k In emotional damages. Emotional damage. In emotional damage. Emotional damage. And this isn't her first time filing a court case. She has a history of filing court cases like this. I was going to say that for the end, but might as well put it out there now. This ain't the first time she's done this. Since 2000, how many was it? 12 or 20? I think it was 12. 12, since the year 2000. She has a history of calling foul, one could say. Now, the question is, is this pimping or simping? I think we already know the answer. We ain't even got to ask the question. It is unequivocal simpitude to the highest level of simpery. She is level one simp ass motherfucker. And you got stood up. Shit happens. It sucks. I've been stood up before. I got stood up. I got stood up one time. And I said only one time in my life, only once. <laughs> only once? That I can recall. Huh? I got stood up one time and I was. That's I was like a bad average though, only once. Yeah. Huh. yeah. It's a bad average. Yeah. <laughs> I've only, I've been stood up maybe three times that I can think of. Mm-hmm. Like it's been a couple times I'm like, yeah, let's not do this mutually. Yeah. But I like, stood up maybe like three would be a stretch. Like no mm-hmm. more than three. But I have a problem with anybody using the court system to try to get revenge for something like this. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like you should be adult enough to talk to somebody and work it out without having to get the criminal justice system involved with this. Even with this court, she filed the um, paperwork in the wrong courts. And the judge tried to tell her like, hey, you need to take this up with another court. And she got all mad. She flew off the wire at the judge. The judge like, look, look, calm down now, lady. I'm trying to tell you. And she didn't went and refiled it in the lower court so she could get some money or get damages for the emotional distress. You now here's my suck. thing. All right, I'm sorry your mom died on that day. But if you was that emotionally damaged, why did you take a date on that day? Facts. Why not take that date to mourn Questions the loss of your mom? Need to be asked. Right? So, like, you're telling me, me standing you up. Now, you can tell me, well, this was good to make me feel better. Why are you connecting your happiness to a date? Facts. That's telling me that's some stuff you need to work out. You got a whole lot of emotional baggage and damage you need to work out if you're depending on this date to make you feel better on the anniversary of your mom's death. That is a shitty way or a shitty weight to put on anybody. That's the stuff you need to work out as a person. And taking that and putting it in the court, that's just a shitty way to remember your mom. That is just terrible, dog. You are a terrible person for doing that. Well, first and foremost, um, I would like to um, rectify what I said. I misspoke. I, I can recall two times I've been stood up. I still a good bad and average. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you it's know. I was a good bad yeah, and average. Yeah, you know. And back to her. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that she is one who um, is mentally and or emotionally unstable. Um, one would she, say that. She, she probably doesn't have a strong grasp on reality and and proper ways to behave. Right. And right. maybe I, don't I don't blame the guy for setting her up based off how she reacted. Maybe he he said they went on one date mm-hmm. and they were planning another date and he didn't show. Right. Yes. So maybe he saw something on that first date and was like, 
Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be worth I mean, it. The entitlement to think that you're entitled to another date, somebody else's time. I'm a flaker, right? I flake out all the time. Like, cause sometimes stuff happens. Shit happens. You know, yeah. an acting gig may pop up randomly. And I'm like, yo, I'm sorry, man. I gotta do this thing for NHK. I gotta do it. Sorry. I did that. That happened to us the other day. Yes, I mean, yeah. but once again, understanding stuff happens with yeah. adults, yeah. right? Maybe you gotta work overtime. Situations happen. Or maybe I'm in a situation I can't pick up the phone, right? God forbid I'm in an emergency, right? But you're not entitled to my time. I can choose to no, give sir. it to you. Yeah. So you thinking that, hey man, you made a tentative plan for another day. You didn't do it. Now you owe me $10,000. That is simple to the highest level of simpitude. Yeah. Not only is it simple to the highest level of simpitude, it's a, it's a bitch ass way to conduct yourself. You ain't shit. You got your, mor your moral compass is fucked up. Uh, you're immature. It's and not, not and uh, you don't deserve to be getting dates. Or do better. Like, do better. Like, this can't be it. And I'm pretty sure they're going to throw this court case out. They as did. They should. I think it said in the article. On that one, but she refiled it, it in another court case. Which I'm quite sure they're going to throw it out, too. Because, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. once again, this is a mockery of the whole justice system. And mm -hmm. our justice people have, like, real stuff they need to worry about. This right here ain't something they need to deal with. Yeah. Marcus, I don't like the way you looked at me. I'm going to need $10,000. Uh, exactly. But what do you think? Is it pimping or simping? I think we know the answer. If you say it's pimping, man, unfriend me. Yeah, we don't, don't, we, we, me. don't we don't live we in don't the same that. reality. We, we don't need them, them followers.